that water bottle on your table and fill your jar up. I was going on nine or so. I started my dual enrollment courses with high school. I ended up getting my associates in psychology by the time I was 10, and I got my bachelor's in humanities and liberal arts by the time I was 12, and then my master's by 14. When I started learning more and more about it and started researching coral reefs and how they're dying, I was just like, we really have to do something about this. Today we're gonna read about quantum physics. Do you guys have any idea what that is? Now you're going to take your tornado in the jar and you're just going to swirl it around. We did our most exciting experiment. Everyone loves it. There's something in it for super, super young kids and super, super older kids. It's our tornado in a jar. When we turn it in a real tornado, that's how it looks like. From a very young age, we want to give them the resources and the foundation to be able to reach their heart's desires when it comes to saving their world because they have to live in it and oftentimes these black kids aren't having programs directed towards helping them learn about what's going on around them. Having someone that looks like them from their community that cares, that, that can speak to their heart, it makes it even more attainable. And that's being a woman, that's being black, that's being young, that's being from an area that normally has challenges. They have to be the change that they want to see. That's something that we live by, that is a part of our mission statement at the Dorothy G. Steam Leadership Institute. And that's what I did, and that's what I want to show them that they can do. You don't have to choose between being smart and being cool. You can be both. I want to do my best to provide for my community.